Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Every day of the week, we get people to come into our lobby asking questions about vintage razor restoration. We also field so many questions about shaving advice in general, so we thought we'd make a video to explain to you one really important concept, lathering. Now, the best method to get that great lather is to suspend water itself against your face, because after all, water is the best hydration and lubrication method that your skin needs. But to get that lather, you need to have something like a tool, like a shaving brush. Badger brushes are not only comfortable, widely available, but also represent a perfect intersection between comfort, heat retention, and ability to make a lather very quickly. I love using a badger brush. I've used them for years. Besides that, you can also pick up a boar brush. Now, boar brushes are a little bit cheaper, but they are equally as impressive when it comes to making a lather, make them very quickly, and in general, help exfoliate your skin and I think a great value. Horse, a little more uh, new on the scene. A lot of people have been asking a lot of questions about horse hair. Um, these are somewhere in between the two. It actually is kind of like a badger in some sense, holds a lot of water, but makes a lather a little bit more similar to a boar in style. And last but not least, synthetic. Making it come back in the recent years. Uh, they've been around forever though, and synthetic, man, these things just spring up a lather instantly, and I've actually really come to like the synthetic brushes, so great recommendation, especially if you're someone who's vegan or conscious about animal hair. Rather than talk about just the characteristics of all these brushes, we thought we'd look at the science. Using one dollop of cream, two teaspoons of water, and 30 seconds in the clock, we put each of these brushes against each other in a battle to see who could make the best lather. Badger performed much like we thought, making a voluptuous lather in very little time at all. The boar sprung that lather right up and made plenty for days. The horse kind of lagged behind a little bit. I think with some more time, this would have performed better. And last but not least, the synthetic. Performed much like the badger and surprised us all. Oh wow, look at all that. The next measurement we looked at was heat retention, something most wet shavers are always asking about. By submerging each brush in 120 degrees of water, we wanted to see how long it would take to get them down to room temperature, which here in Arizona was 83 degrees. It took 10 minutes for the badger brush to get down, five minutes for the boar, eight and a half for the horse, and six and a quarter for the synthetic. Now that we've seen how the different brushes measure up, let's talk about the different products and how they measure up too. A shaving stick takes all the benefits of wet shaving, but takes it on the go. Not only can you apply it directly to your face, but they're super convenient. A hard soap does take a little bit more experience and expertise to get into a perfect lather, but you have a lot more variety of different products out there since most people do have their products in the form of a hard soap. Creams make it super convenient because it's a lot easier to make a lather for the first time. You can use a brush, you can use face lathering or a bowl, super easy with a cream. And a canned product, well, there's really no environmental reason to use one or benefit for shaving, so I like to say, ditch the can. So how are you gonna make this lather happen? How are you gonna put it on your face? There's two main options, either using a bowl or some kind of medium, or directly onto your face. The benefits of using a bowl are you can control the cream and water ratio a little more carefully, and your lather's probably gonna stay hydrated and warmer longer. But by face lathering, not only do you exfoliate your skin, but you also bring blood to the surface, and you really get that lather to build 
underneath the hair and in my opinion leads to a better overall quality of shave. Sometimes getting the right lather is about getting the right kind of troubleshooting advice. If you're having a lather that's just too dry, try adding just a little more water. It seems pretty straightforward. If you're getting a lather that's too runny, add a little bit more product. Sometimes an extra dollop of cream, sometimes a few more swipes on top of your soap puck. If you're getting a lather that's too flaky or starting to dry up on you, I'd recommend a pre-shave product, something to work into your beard beforehand. And last but not least, if you really are having a hard time, a super lather is highly recommendable. That's just when you combine a cream and a soap together to make a massive lather. Last but not least, enjoy yourself. This entire thing's supposed to be fun. Use different brushes, use different products, see what works for your skin and for your beard. Subscribe below, and I hope you found today's video very enjoyable. Leave a comment. We like to hear from our customers. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for checking out RazorEmporium.com.